All right, now we got the B final here, the men's 400 IM. And in lane number one, we got Aaron Schultz from Nova of Virginia. In lane number two, Zachary Fong, Jersey Wahoos. Also from the Wahoos in lane three, Alexander Martin. Four, Ross Palazzo, Hudson Explorer. Five, Joseph Milinovic from Academy Bullets. Six, Brennan Pasterick, Georgia Coastal. Seven, Casey Storch, Machine Aquatics. And lane eight, John Thomas Larson from Adina Swim Club. So I wanted to go back to that. You say you swim the 400 AM at every meet. You got people like Ryan Lochte and Michael Phelps who didn't swim at every meet. So, and you used to train with Ryan. Did you kind of give him grief over that? Like, Ryan, you need to be swimming this a little more often if you want to get better. Oh, of course. I'll give him grief for anything. But um, I do understand now that I'm getting older, it's a lot harder to swim events like this at every single meet. And in Ryan's defense, when he was training with me, he was what, 27, 28, 29 years old, and it's a long race to be swimming when you're that old, and uh, you know, still definitely gave him some grief for that, but definitely understand the other side of it. Now that I'm, I'm only 22, but definitely noticing a change in, you know, my body and how I feel and stuff, and uh, you know, he still swims fast, so I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> So we got lane number seven right now, Casey Storch from Machine Aquatics out in the lead after the butterfly and moving into backstroke. Here we got lane number, lane number five, Joseph Milinovic running second. Great underwater's there for Joseph Milinovic in five. And obviously, if you could do great underwaters in a 400 IM, that really does help you. But, I mean, there is also the idea of, you know, you're underwater, you're holding your breath, and you want to get as much air as possible in a 400 IM. So how do you balance that? I honestly think it's it depends on, you know, who your coach is and what you guys decide. But I remember in 2012 in London, Yishi Wen didn't do a pullout in her breaststroke. And that obviously helped her for that last 100 freestyle. But it's something that you're, you know, you do what you're used to. I do pullouts because I think my pullouts are faster than my breaststroke swimming. So I want to do enough underwater as possible. But. All right, so we got a great battle here on breaststroke. Casey Storch still leading. Joseph Milinovic making a move here. Yeah, we were talking about long strokes. Look how long Casey Storch is underwater, that glide. He's got a great pull too, but that kick is really holding on to his body line. Now the battle for second, moving on to lane number four. Ross Palazzo, Hudson Explorer. Lane five, Joseph Milinovic. Moved back into fourth place. And lane six, Brennan Pasterick trying to make a move into third. But Casey Storch still doing well. He's 36-1 on his first 50 of rush strokes. Okay. Now, it, a lot of people say that you want to have your second 50 of each stroke, yeah. except for maybe Butterfly be faster in your first 50. Do you, do you agree with that? Yeah. Coach Troy has always told me to negative slip my hundreds. And, you know, obviously doesn't always happen, but I think by doing that, you get momentum going into the next stroke by having that second 50 faster. Well, now we got Ross Palazzo in lane number four. He moved up a little bit, but Casey Storch is looking at him. I think he can see what the battle is for. And we're gonna flip here while 50 meters remain. They're gonna flip pretty even. And now we got Palazzo. He's got to come back at a 30 flat to get the Olympic trials cut. That's really tough to do. But he's got a great kick behind him. I think right now he just knows there's a race and he wants to win it. 427.20, he got it by two tenths of a second. I think he's too tired to celebrate right oh, yeah. now. I just got the chills. That is so exciting. Yep, he's going to Olympic trials, ladies and gentlemen. Ross Palazzo, 427.20. Casey Storch, 429.03. Still a great swim for him. It's great to have four, two swimmers under 430 in the 400 IM. And one was from the E-final, right? 
Yeah, and that one almost made it in the E final every trial, so that's really stepping up the game here for the, the B final, the A final that's coming up here in just a couple seconds. And we got Anthony.